In the 22.2 release, Oracle Apex Approvals is enhanced to support computed due dates on tasks, a task expiration policy, new expire and before expire events, and the ability for users to request and provide more information for a task while it's being reviewed, among other features. The Apex Sample Approvals app you can install from the gallery is also enhanced to show off these new features. Let's have a look. The Sample Approvals app now allows users to request a laptop for an employee. It includes this new laptop request task definition to handle the approval for the laptop request. In addition to the subject, priority, task details page URL, and action source query that you might have seen in previous Apex versions, this task definition dynamically computes its due date, which is one of the new features in 22.2. Here we're using a DBMS scheduler expression that will be evaluated at task creation time and the first occurrence of which will be used as the new task's due date. Here, to make the task expiration feature easier to demonstrate, we're using an expression that sets the task to expire just two minutes after it was created. Of course, in practice, your applications will use a longer time frame in hours, days, or weeks in the future. When a task passes its due date with no action by the approver, it is considered overdue. Now, you can configure your task definition to formally expire by choosing an expiration policy. Once the task is expired, the task administrator can manually create a new task linked to the expired one to give a new approver another chance to act on it. The laptop request uses the policy of renew so that the expired task is linked to a newly created renewal task, which gets a chance to determine a new approver if appropriate. By setting the maximum renewal count, you can limit the number of times the expiration will automatically renew the task. Here in the sample, the maximum renewal count is set to 2. After that point, the task administrator can still renew it manually. The laptop request uses a dynamically computed approver by calling a PLSQL package function get laptop approver, passing in the task renewal count as a parameter so it can figure into the logic for who to assign the task to as it gets renewed one or more times. In the sample, the get laptop approver function first assigns Jane, then on first renewal it assigns Steve, and finally on the second renewal it assigns Bo. Using the new before expire event, the laptop request task definition sends an email to the approver reminding them the task requires their attention. In the sample, where the task expires in just two minutes, it's set to send the email one minute before expiration. Sarah's logged into the app and requests a new laptop for Blake. She sets the date by when Blake needs the laptop to one of the highlighted weekdays on the calendar and clicks Submit to create the new task for approval. In the Pending Approvals page, we see the new task got assigned to Jane. Jane views the task and asks for more information. How old is her current laptop? Sarah logs in and provides additional information. Five years old. Looking again at the pending approvals when logged in as Jane, we see her task expired 26 seconds ago. If we force the deadline handling to happen now, instead of waiting for the hourly job, we see the task has been expired and a new renewal task got created and assigned to Steve. Now logged in as Steve, if we let time pass and force the deadline handling to happen with less than one minute to go before expiration, we'll see that the before expire event occurs and sends Steve an email to urge him to attend to his approval task that's expiring soon. Steve can look at the task details. If he wants to see the comments from previous tasks in the task renewal chain, he can check this checkbox and see those tasks comments appear. To see the history from previous tasks in the renewal task chain, just check this checkbox. He can also add a comment of his own to this task, the renewal task assigned to him. And finally, click the approve button to approve the task from here. Once the laptop request is approved, the back office procurement staff can use the laptop orders page to enter the order and delivery dates for the new machine. Once an order date and a deliver date have been entered for the approved laptop, 
and those changes get saved, the information will disappear from the laptop order management screen. But to see previously entered records, just move the all switch. Once a delivered date is entered, the laptop button shows up again in the employees page for Blake. Using the new sample approvals app shown in this video, you can experiment further with the handy new task due date computation, task expiration handling, and renewal task capabilities that you'll find uses for in your own application soon.